everybody. J.R. Hendrick here. I want to talk to you about a little adventure chance you can go on. Don't you use this service called Truby Tra- uh, Tra- Travel. It'll take you to various travel vistas, airlines, hotels, whatever services you need. Truby Travel. Find the best package for you. In order to access it, I want you to go ahead and contact you an ACM distributor near you. Y'all take care and God bless you, okay? Leadership. Flashing with excellence. They shine bright everywhere we go. Music for the people, making music for the people. They shine bright everywhere we go. They shine bright everywhere we go. Leadership. Uh, vivacious, full of success and beauty. Here is our latest details, independent of politics, the James A. Hendricks School of Leadership. You're going to have to change that song um, eventually in January because we're going to be going back to politics and, you know, I've been trying to ease you into it. So, to that extent, here we go. Government doesn't solve problems. Yeah, you've probably seen me discuss this before. I want you to think about this, okay? For one instance, Obamacare, or shall we now call it Biden Care, um, single payer universal health coverage. <laughs> oh, that's gotten a lot of people enrolled, hasn't it? Um. <laughs> Got to pay the bills, I guess. I want to talk to you about a better, better health care service. It's not insurance. It's called impact health sharing. Let me tell you something. It's, it's uh, people pay into a health sharing account. And everyone shares the burdens from their medical bills, okay? And and that is the blessing. I'll be back with you in a minute. I'm going to pull me a glass of root beer. I'm going to talk to you why government is the problem. I want to go ahead and, and level with you. Government is not going to solve the health care debate. I mean, neither conservative nor liberal has really given a fair uh, assessment of things. Medicare and Medicaid, <laughs> LBJ's Great Society. Oh boy, you don't want to get me started on LBJ. When I first read about him, and you know. In junior high school, I was about 15. I thought, well, you know, this great great society can't be so bad. (sighs) But he was trying to do that. At the same time, his war on, on poverty, the war in Vietnam. So I'm going to say this to millennials, Gen Z, Gen X, whatever generation you are. If you're sitting there and you're thinking government's going to be there to to diaper you and solve your problems, you got to think again. Medicare, Medicaid, they're a safety net. Don't get me wrong, but in many ways, it's a failure. Uh, bargain basement. What is a consumer in those deals but a number? <sighs> Let me tell you something. That's why I think the conservative federalist answer is keep health care with the individuals 
If the states want to get involved, sure. The states. But I think some good public private partnerships would be good when it comes to, to uh, health care. And people say, no, that won't work, that won't work, that won't work. But who's the majority that says it don't want to work? Uh, liberals. And lukewarm milk toast conservatives. I hate to say this, but it's true. If you're expecting government to solve your problems, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're going to be waiting for a long time. And so I'm going to say this, and, and just, I'm going to bless you guys and try to understand that th this is a serious issue if you're sitting here waiting for government to just wipe away your tears and solve all your problems. <laughs> they don't. Government is not functioning like it should. Any of us who are conservative federalists know this. Speaking of which, uh, February the uh, 17th will be Constitution. We're going to have Constitution Tuesday, Thursday. So I want you to get ready. With that, I hope you enjoy listening to the James A. Hendricks School Leadership. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and become a part of the James A. Hendricks School of Leadership Classroom. This is Jimmy Hendricks saying until next time, take care and be proactively informed. Tomorrow you're going to get the end of the year review. I may go ahead and start taping that right away. In the meantime, take care of you guys and be proactively informed. God bless you.